Hello students, welcome to MacTab. I am Ayush and here I am again with you with the next lecture of the series of number system. I hope you have completed all the previous lectures. If not, I advise you to first do complete the previous lectures and then come to this one so that you can understand each and every concept clearly. So without further ado, let's start our next lecture of the series of number system. In this lecture, we will learn about the properties of whole numbers. So today we will focus on the basic properties of whole numbers. Coming to our first property, the first property of whole numbers is the first property of whole numbers is closer property. That means whole numbers are closed under addition and also under subtraction, also under multiplication not subtraction okay so here what does it mean what does it mean whole number whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication that means if i add two numbers let's say eight is a whole number right and if i add nine to it nine is also a whole number it is a whole number and it is also a whole number so if i add these two i'll get 17 and 17 is also a whole number right in case of multiplication, if I multiply two whole numbers, that means 3 into 5. This is a whole number, right? And this is also a whole number. So 3 into 5, 15. Again a whole number. That means in case of addition and multiplication. In case of addition and multiplication, uh, this disclosure property will apply, right? So that means in addition and in subtraction, if we uh, in addition and in multiplication, if we uh, add two number two whole numbers, we will get a whole number as a result. And if we multiply two numbers, we will get a whole number uh, as a result. But let's check for division for subtraction so if i write here 8 and here i subtract 9 from it is 8 a whole number yes is 9 a whole number yes but what answer will i get if i subtract 9 my, uh, from 8 that means 8 minus 9 is equals to minus 1 because this 9 is greater than 8 right and if I subtract something small, uh, something larger from a smaller number, that means this is a large number, this is a smaller number, right? So if I subtract this large number from this smaller number, then I'll get minus 1. Or in case of 10 and 6, if I subtract 6, uh, if I subtract 10 from 6, I'll get minus 4. Isn't it? It is the same concept. So concept. Uh, it is the same concept. Uh, like if I say you have, you have five rupees, right? And you want to pay eight rupees. Then you will pay your five. In addition you have to borrow 3 from somewhere else, right? So this uh, part which you have borrowed, you have to give it back to, uh, to the person from whom you have borrowed it, right? So this is your uh, minus part. That means you have to pay this extra. Now that means you, you have 5, you want to pay 8, you paid 5, you, you have to pay 3 more, but you have 0 now. That means this 3 is in minus now. Got it? So this is the same concept. That means it is minus 1. And as we have studied in whole numbers, whole numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? That means this minus 1 is out of this set of whole numbers, right? Because nowhere from 0 to uh, 4, 5, 6 and so on, 
nowhere minus 1 will become uh, minus 1 will come because minus 1 is smaller than 0 but in whole numbers we consider 0 as the smallest number so got it that means if i subtract two whole numbers then there is no guarantee that the outcome will be a whole number right so we can see here this minus 1 is not a whole number that means we cannot say that this closer property applies to uh, subtraction because we are not getting a whole number every time we do subtraction of whole number got it i hope you got this concept now coming to division if i divide this 8 this is a whole number if i divide with it by 2 this is also a whole number i'll get 4 it is also a whole number so here this closer property is applying but if i uh, let's say divide 5 by 2 what will i get i'll get 5 by 2 that is 2 whole 1 by 2 or 2.5 right this is what i get because 5 to 2 into 2 4 i left with 1 if i uh, add a point here i'll add a 0 here then 2 into 5 10 that means 2 and a half but just check here is there any number which we are getting in this form of decimal no that means this is not a whole number not a whole number got it so we can say in case of subtraction and in case of division we are not sure that if we subtract two whole numbers or if we divide two whole numbers then it is not uh, then it is possible it is a possibility then we can get the outcome as no as not a whole number right because here we are uh, getting 2.5 here we are getting minus 1 both these numbers are not whole numbers i hope this is clear to you so this is what this property says right let me write it again for you for a subtraction and division right 9 minus 11 is equals to minus 2 it is not a whole number right not a whole number similarly if i subtract 8 if i divide 8 by 6 what will i get i'll get 8 by 6 that means 4 by 3 I can also write it like 3 1 whole 1 by 3 right so this is also this is a fraction right this is a fraction it is simple fraction and it is mixed fraction mixed fraction so we can say that here it is also not a whole number not a whole number so this closer property whole uh, says that whole numbers are closed that means the outcome will also be a whole number under addition and also under subtraction uh, also under multiplication right so uh, the property does not apply to subtraction and does not apply to division i hope you got my point right let's come to this one the whole number are not closed under subtraction and division i have explained this to you on the previous page right so here we can say because the outcome this y because the outcome of subtraction and division
of two whole numbers may be or may not be a whole number right got this because if i subtract 10 minus 5 it is 5 this is a whole number this is a whole number and this is also a whole number but if i subtract 5 if i subtract 10 from 5 i'll get minus 5 and it is not a whole number got it similarly this 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 4 is a whole number this 2 is a whole number and this 2 again is a whole number but if i divide 2 by 4 i'll get 1 by 2 it's a fraction right fraction so it is not a whole number so the outcome may be whole and may not be whole in both the cases right i hope i made my point clear to you now let's come to division by zero what does it mean division by a number means subtracting that number repeatedly i, I want to explain this concept to you here if i divide 8 by 2 what will i get i'll get 4 how see if i 8 if i subtract 2 from 8 i'll get 6 right then again i subtract 2 from it i'll get 4 then from 4 i'll get, subtract 2 and i'll get 2 then i'll subtract 2 from 2 and i'll get 0 so how many times i can subtract 2 from this 8 first 1 2 3 4 this is the uh, calculation which we do when we just simply divide it it means 4 that means if i subtract 2 4 times from 8 i'll get this 0 got it if i subtract uh, uh, if i subtract uh, 2 once then i'll get 6 again my uh, minus 2 4 again minus 2 2 again minus 2 0 that means i am subtracting it 4 times this is what this solution says 4 times 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4 but in case of 0 if i divide 8 by 0 i'll get 8 minus 0 then i'll left with 8 then 8 minus 0 again and i'll left with 8 again that means this number this outcome will always be 8 because we are not subtracting anything because 0 does not hold any value here if we subtract 8 from 0 uh, if we subtract 0 from it we will get 8 only that means division this division of any number in place of 8 this can be any number that means if i write let's say this much big number 964 upon 0 the answer will be not defined because every time we will subtract 0 only and this number will remain same so the division of a whole number by 0 is not defined got it so if someone asks you this question 2 3 9 7 4 divided by 0 what will be the answer not defined got it that means there is a uh, not defined uh, no uh, no no defined outcome of this question okay i hope you got this concept now come to commutativity of addition and multiplication what does it mean here if i write 7 plus 8 plus 6 what will be the outcome 7 plus 8 15 plus 6 the answer is 21 right but 
I can do it another way too. That means I can just add these two first. 8 plus 6, 14 plus 7, it is 21 again. The outcome here and here is same, 21, isn't it? So we can add any number, any two numbers first. Let's say if it is written here, 100 plus 25 plus 50 plus 94. I can add any any number in any direction, in any pattern, in in any order. Okay, I can add it to this first or I can add it to this first. That means I can add 100 plus 50. Then I can add 24 plus 25 here separately. So I'll get the same outcome. 100 plus 50, 50 plus 94 plus 25. I'll get 150 plus 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 2, 11. And now if I add these two, I'll get 269. So this outcome will never change, no matter in which order you are, add, uh, you are adding these numbers. So this is what this property of commutativity of addition and multiplication says. That means you can add numbers in any order you want. That means if it is written here 100 plus 30 plus 70 plus 20 plus 80. So if you want uh, if you want to add it, then you can just add it according to your own convenience. That means here you have a 100, right? Then you will add 70 plus 30, you will get another 100. And then 80 plus 20, another 100. And simply you can say it is, the sum is 300. Rather, if I add in it a different order like this. First, I'll write... I'll add 80 plus 70. Let me write it here with different pen, of course. 80 plus 70 plus 100 plus 30 plus 20. First, I'll add this 80 plus 70. I'll get 150 plus 100 plus 30 plus 20, 150. And if I add these two, I'll get 300. So the outcome here and here is similar, but the calculation is different, right? Here I first added uh, 80 and 70, I got 150. Here I had simply made 300 and it is easier to do. So no matter how, in uh, which order the numbers are written, you can add it according to your convenience in which you find the calculation easy. So this commutate, uh, commutativity this commutativity of addition and multiplication says that this that you can add and multiply in any order you want, right? Same goes for multiplication, right? Like 5 into 3 into 2. If it is written here, what will you do? 5 into 3, 15 into 2, 20, right? Uh, 5, 50, uh, 15 into 2, 30. But what else you can do? You can just do 5 into 2 into 3. That means 10 into 3 is equals to 30. That 5 into 2, 10. See, the num outcome here are different. 15 and 2 here, 10 and 3. But the final result is same in both the case. So we can say that we can, multi we can uh, do multiplication in any order. No matter in which order the numbers are written. So how this can be useful to you? Let me show you. 5 into 3 into let's say 7. Right. So if I just add these two, multiply these two, 5 into 3, 15 into 7. I have to calculate this now. 7 into 5, 35, 5 here, 3 extra. 7 into 1, 7 and then this 3. That means 105 is the outcome. But the other way of doing is doing it is, is this. 5 into 7, 35 into 3. And now also we can calculate 3 into 5, 15 plus 1, 3 into 3, 9 plus this, 10. So you can uh, multiply in any uh, direction, okay, in any pattern in which you are comfortable with. Like it is written here, let's say not 
and it is written here 7 into 2 into 5 what you can do either you can uh, multiply these two first 14 7 into 2 14 and then multiply it with 5 14 into 5 it is 5 4 20 2 extra 5 in, 5 into 1 5 and this 2 70 right but another way of doing it is this here 5 into 2 10 and then here 7 7 into 10 it is very simple to do it right so this is the use of this commutivity right so this is the property which uh, which says that commutivity of addition and multiplication is same uh, is commutivity of addi add addition and multiplication says that this num these numbers can be interchanged but if i talk about let's say subtraction why it is not written here subtraction subtraction and division why because if it is written here 10 minus 5 minus 2 right here I will get this 10 minus 5 5 minus 2 3 here I am getting 3 but if this case changes like 50 into 2 minus 3 then if you just multiply it first you will get 100 and then minus 3 that means 97 but if you do it other way 50 minus 3 into 2 you will get 47 into 2 and the outcome will be 94 see there is a difference in outcome right that's why we cannot we can say that the commutivity of whole uh, the commutivity of whole number does not apply on subtraction and division in case of division let me tell you 8 divided by 4 minus let's say plus 2 so if you just divide it first 8 divided by 4 you will get 2 and this plus 2 you will get 4 outcome but if you do it another way if you do it like this 4 plus 2 6 8 div uh, divided by 6 then you will get 8 by 6 that means 4 by 3 and the outcome is different from this the outcome is different here it is 4 here it is not a whole number got it so we can say that this commutivity of whole number does not apply to subtraction and division so that's all for today i hope you uh, understood all the pro uh, all these properties i'll explain some more properties in the next lecture till then revise it study hard and take care of yourself bye bye